Hi there, and thanks for joining me. As you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today, and I've got all these lovely bags on the table. And each one of these bags is almost like a little house in a bag. So I thought anyone who's enjoying the world of dolls housing would like to see these bags. They're really rather lovely, aren't they? And as you can see, I'm building up quite a collection of these bags. It started with this one, which I bought the first time we visited Cambridge, and then the collection <laughs> is expanding on from there. So they come in all different sizes, and they're made by a company called Vendula. And I'm not associated with Vendula in any way at all. I just absolutely love their bags. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So I thought perhaps we might have a look at them in more detail. So we'll start with this one, which is the new addition to my bag family. I was very kindly bought it by my husband last weekend as a special treat. It's rather lovely, isn't it? And it's the Botanist Studios. And each one of the bags has a different theme. So this one's about plants. We've got these beautiful vines growing down from the roof of the building. And then we'll look at the bag in slightly more detail. We've got these beautiful plants growing up the side that have been embroidered onto the bag. And then we've got a window here with some more plants inside. And I just love the detail they put on them because we've got little bows here for the flowers. Sort of flowers hanging down from the ceiling, drying. Got a little light here on the wall of the building. Isn't that gorgeous? Like a little lantern. And there's a matching one on the other side too. And if we look at the main window, we've got this beautiful fox here with a nice fluffy tail. Look how they've sewed that fluffy tail. Isn't it gorgeous? Some books on the shelf. And a chest of drawers with some lovely potions and some plants that have been growing here. A microscope, some beautiful beads, sort of crystal beads with some flowers, I'm guessing. And two like ammonites almost on the chest of drawers. And we move over here to the doorway, and I love it when they do this on a bag. It's absolutely charming. And we move across these beads that jangle when you walk, which is lovely. <laughs> and inside we've got a fox standing on the chair. Isn't that charming? And I love this. Absolutely love the fact that they've got the sort of hidden features on the bag. So this is a brand new bag. I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> So if we open it up, we can see inside, it's still got all the packaging where the shop was displaying it. And it comes with a long handle that goes over the top so you can use it as a shoulder bag. And inside they've got some London fabric as well because Vendula's from London in England. And there's some lovely fabric inside where you can see the Queen's Guard. Uh, the London Eye, the big wheel, you've got Tower Bridge and a variety of different things. So hopefully you can spot those in the camera there. But I also really love these bags as well as you might have spotted on the back. We always have another little feature as well. So here we've got another little fox <laughs> with some plants and it says, say hello. Oh. <laughs> to my little friends. So we call a little play on the word hello there for hello Vera. And isn't it lovely? So this isn't embroidered or anything like this on the back, but on the front we've got a mixture of embroidery. So all these flowers here are embroidered. And we've got the lovely flowers trailing down here. So we've got the gems, we've got some beads sewn on here. The fox's beautiful fluffy tail book that's been sewed on to give a bit of 3D-ness and the curtain <laughs> we've made out of beads. Aren't they lovely? Absolutely lovely. As I say, anyone who's into the miniature world and dolls has it, I'm sure will appreciate how charming these bags are. That's my most recent addition to my bag family. I've also got this bag here which is a similar style to this one, but not quite the same, as you can see. It's, the roof of it is made from sort of the top of the bag, but it's slightly different because this one's got two handles, this one's just got the one. But I do love this style because it gives the effect of it being a roof here, doesn't it? 
So this one here is Vindula Vintage. So the idea is it's a vintage shop, a vintage clothing shop. So on here, we've got some dresses hung up in the window of the dress shop. Again, some embroidery, so some lovely plants here growing up the side. Some shoes, some hats. The bag is 3D, the dresses are 3D as well, so they're sewn on to give a bit of extra depth here. Above it, it says Arca, whatever that means, <laughs> 1960 to 1980, so vintage, I guess. And a dress on a mannequin and the doorway saying open. And this one has got the sign here that jangles around when you walk, so the sign's loose on a bit of a chain. Isn't it lovely? I like this one as well because the roof is different coloured patterns on the roof to give the idea of being like slates or what have you on a roof. And we'll move around to the back of this bag and see what we see on the back. And here we've got ah, some lovely flowers on the back of the bag. So they're charming, absolutely charming. And we'll just have a closer look at this. As I say, we've got the beautiful dresses hanging up there in the window. Got some lace along the window to give the idea of like a like a curtain or a bit of frame into the window. Beautiful embroidery, flower pot, or plant pot rather, some plants here, a bag and the dresses are sewed on to give the idea of 3D-ness and a mannequin and the doorway and the Vendula vintage sort of hangs down. So this bag opens slightly differently. This one here had a had a clasp that opened like so. And this one here has a zip. And again, we've got a strap as well, so you can use it as a shoulder bag if you prefer. And it's got the same lovely London fabric inside as well with all the London landmarks. And I absolutely love these bags. I think they are so charming. <laughs> so anyone who loves a miniature world, I'm sure will love these bags too. So that's those two, and they're sort of almost like clutch bags. And then I'll move on to the shoulder bags, I think. Now, this was the first ever bag I bought. So this started my bag obsession. Uh, we came on holiday to Cambridge and uh, I spotted these in the window of a shop and I was just like, oh my goodness, there's little houses. I absolutely love this. And so we popped back the next day and I had a closer look at them. And uh, oh, again, my, my very kind husband treated me to a holiday treat and bought me this bag, which started my bag obsession. <laughs> so this one here is at a milliner's store. So it's Vendula Milliner's and it's a hat store. So when we've got some beautiful hats in the window here, and then we've got some more 3D. So this is all sewn on to give the idea of 3D hats. And then we've got a little cat <laughs> wearing a hat. Now, a lot of these bags do have cats on them. Cats is a bit, seems to be a bit of a theme for Vendula. So we'll see some cats again in a little bit. This style is slightly different as well with the roof. Same, same as the uh, sort of red and or burgundy and pink roof where you've got the stripes on the roof. But this is a slightly different style and it opens like this. And again, you've got the London fabric inside the bag. Now I have used this bag. It's my first bag and I do take it on night outs occasionally. <laughs> And uh, it's always a talking piece, always is. And we'll just have a little peek at the back of this one and see what's on the back of this one. Ah, oh, we've got a little cat <laughs> in a wardrobe. Isn't that wonderful? And he's got his clothes, and a little bag. I say he, it's probably she, isn't it, with clothes like that? <laughs> oh, so each time he's got shoes and a bag and a cat and some clothes and a wardrobe. And I just love the fact they even add the detail to the back of the bags. So we'll have a closer look at this one. Let's say we've got uh, a plant growing out of the pot here, some hats in the window. It says handmade occasion hats and lady fascinators. A fine hat fits like a good friend. Isn't that right? It certainly does, doesn't it? And this says, oh, get ready for the big day. Oh. <laughs> and we've got some opening hours in the window, of course. I think it says closed for brunch, so that's good. That they actually close for brunch, not just lunch. <laughs> so we've got some more hats here, a 
got a, a coat rack with some hats on it. And there's some more hats in the window. And the little cat wearing our hat here. Isn't that lovely? And on this one, we've got the milliner's sign that moves around on the bag. So each one of the bags always like to have something that moves, which is rather lovely. And so if we open this, we can see there's a little bit more detail at the top. And they've added some green sort of fluffy material here to give the idea, I guess, of like some flowers, some foliage growing on the top of the building of the shop. Isn't that lovely? I <laughs> absolutely love this one. I chose this one because I thought it was a sensible colour and it would go with most items. And I just love, I love the hats on it. I really did. I'm quite a hat person. <laughs> I absolutely thought it was charming. But little did I know this was going to lead to lots of other bags being bought. <laughs> We've also got a very similar style bag to this one. And this is one that I actually picked up off of eBay. Uh, all the others were bought new for me as presents, but this one I picked up for myself off of eBay. And again, we can see the cats here. I said cats was a bit of a theme, didn't I? <laughs> and this is lovely black and white style. So it's the same style as the grey one. But this is oh, a beauty salon. I forget what they are. <laughs> so this is a beauty salon. And again, we've got the beautiful cat having her nails done. So we've got the black and white top to the roof and under here it says beauty salon and there's an open sign and a little bead to give the idea of like a door. So that's rather nice, isn't it? And then we say we've got the cat here. <laughs> she's even got like little bows in her hair and she's having her nails painted. Can you see there's a, there's a paw there painting her nails. <laughs> And there's another little cat here. Oh, it's a picture of a cat with some beautiful hair. Look at that for cat hair. <laughs> and there's another cat here having her hair done underneath a towel. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> and a flower up here as well. And we'll just have a little look at the back of this bag and remind ourselves what's on the back. <laughs> and it says, Bill Posters will be prosecuted. And then someone has graffitied. <laughs> Bill Posters is innocent. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? I really do love their sense of humour. And we've got a bag painted on here and a London telephone box as well. So we'll just look at this one in more detail again. So it says Vendula Beauty Salon. And we got, oh, it's hanging baskets. So we've got some hanging baskets here, hanging down outside the shop the door with the open sign on it and some sort of hairspray and hair products here a little flower in a vase and we move across to the cat <laughs> when her nails done <laughs> you can see she's got pink on the tip of her nails there where she's had her nail varnish done and she's got a bow in her hair got a picture of a cat on the wall some beautiful locks red and white locks and there's a cat here. Oh, she's got a face mask on as well. <laughs> Look at that. So she's got a face mask on and she's reading a cat book <laughs> and she's got her hair in the towel, I'm guessing. There's a plant pot here. Oh, she's having a, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice it. She's having a pedicure. Look, you can see there's a little paw there with a nail file. So she's having a pedicure. Oh, I always missed that. Isn't that wonderful? So she's having a proper spa day, this little pussycat is. Here we can see the hanging baskets hanging down from these beads here. And they're absolutely charming. Charming bags. And again, I would pop in, look inside. And again, we've got, oh, slightly different this time, London fabric inside. So it's got a lot of the London landmarks, but it's a different colour pattern, isn't it? Different style patterns. So we've got London bus, little Queen's Guard, we've got Tower Bridge. Uh, oh, we've got, I think that's a shard. Oh, this is the Millennium Tower, or oh, the Millennium Dome, rather, and the London Eye. I can't quite recognise all the others. We've got the London Black Cab, uh, Letterbox, or oh, it's one of the churches, probably Westminster Cathedral, I think. Oh, St Paul's Cathedral. That's probably the BT Tower, is it? Oh, no, that's Big Ben. You can sit here. It's Big Ben. <laughs> so a bit easier to see what's on that one. But isn't that lovely? The fabric alone is quite fascinating, isn't it? So this one was bought secondhand, so it has been used by the person before me. But it's rather nice. And these bags actually do get used, doesn't it? I'll just pop that to one side. And I think we'll go down in size while we're at it. <laughs> so we've then got this little bag. 
and this is a pink bag and this is designed as like uh like a bum bag um i think america's called them fanny pouches is that right but you wear it around your waist and it's ideal for like security because your bag's like around your waist and it saves your shoulders and i absolutely love this style isn't it gorgeous now this is a fortune teller's house and it's a tiny little well, you can also use it as a clutch bag which is rather sweet and you've got the fortune teller so you've got her fortune teller sort of crystal ball here on the table and outside it says mystic madam bendula fortunes told here <laughs> and you can see here we've got some jangly uh jangly like a sort of door curtain again and if we bring that apart we can see who's inside and oh there she is the mystic madam little cat <laughs> isn't that wonderful now on this size bag unfortunately we don't get a little pattern on the back but you can hardly blame them because it's only tiny isn't it i absolutely love this and we open it up. So I've never actually used this one. It's even still got the packaging inside. And this one has got a sort of a, oh, I think it's a different London fabric again inside this one. So they're all slightly different, aren't they? Which is rather nice. Oh, I can even spot a pot of tea in there. That's rather, rather typical for the English, isn't it? Because I do usually like my cups of tea. <laughs> So oh, that's lovely and uh, somewhere for you to put your cards as well. So let's have a closer look at the outside of this bag. Let's say we've got fortune teller in the window, some lovely curtains here and the crystal ball, some flowers in the table. And then the window has been embroidered on and outside we've got a sign saying Mr. Madam Vendula, fortune's told here. And my favourite bit is when we move the curtain out of the way. You can see Mystic Madam, the cat. <laughs> she even got her lovely scarf on her head and some flowers. Got some flower details around the door as well. And I love this sparkly material on the outside of this bag. I absolutely love this one. I think it's one of my favourite. I did actually choose this one but as a <laughs> Again, <laughs> present from my husband. I think I'm very lucky, aren't I? <laughs> so, absolutely gorgeous. So, it's quite a different fabric. I don't know if you can hear, but it sort of makes a crinkly si sound when I do that. Absolutely love that. <laughs> I think that's probably one of my favourite, actually. I'm moving down. We'll go to the purse next. Now, the purse is a little bit worn compared to most of the others because I have actually used this and I used it for quite a considerable amount of time. However, I then discovered that Vendula bags sometimes go up in value <laughs> and it was getting a little bit worn. And I thought, you know, what? I don't want it to wear away because I love it too much. So I thought I'm going to go back to having just a boring, plain purse instead. And I'm going to save this for special occasions and put it as part of my collection. And I actually have all these like as ornaments around the house and they make such lovely ornaments i mean they are just gorgeous aren't they i say like you know for someone who's into doll's housing they are such lovely things around the house i say it's just a, a little purse and inside we've got the oh the london fabric again and lots of places to keep your credit cards and what have you and then you change as well in there and i say it was a really handy person it's actually really well designed because i'm quite fussy about my purses and uh, I'm a bit old school. I still use change <laughs> and I still carry credit cards and I don't just put it all on Google Pay or anything like that. So I'm a bit old fashioned. So somewhere for lots of cards to go and your change to go and your notes to go. And it's absolutely ideal. I say you can see it's getting a little bit worn and some of the front is beginning to wear off. So I decided to put it away and save it as part of my collection. Let's we'll have a closer look so everyone can see what's going on. So we've got the makeup table. We have the mirror here and the window frame with window box outside with flowers in it and it's embroidered. Beautiful flowers that go up around the windows. I love these. This is my favourite bit of the bag, I have to be honest. There was stool and some more makeup here. As I say, it says, I may not be perfect, but my makeup is. <laughs> and last but not by no means least, is the smallest little purse in my collection. 
And this is like a little coin purse. And this was a Christmas present, again, uh, for my husband. He seems to like buying me them, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm very lucky indeed. <laughs> and this is a little coin purse. And uh, yeah, again, I haven't actually used it. You still see this packaging in there. Isn't it awful? But uh, I will use them sometimes, but I just don't want them to get damaged. It's too charming. So I'll have a closer look here. And you can see we've got these beautiful roses growing up around the window. And the flowers inside the flower shop. And a little pot here, obviously on the windowsill, growing some flowers. Aren't they charming? As I say, I'm not associated with Vendula in any way. I just absolutely love their products. And as someone who loves dolls housing, I just think the designs they put into these bags is absolutely charming. It's all a little miniature world in a handbag. <laughs> I thought that some of you might like to see them. And I think they're absolutely wonderful. So charming. And I hope you've enjoyed having a look at my Vendula bags with me. And hopefully it might even give us an idea as to what we can put into our dolls' houses, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.